Guys, I don't think it comes as any surprise that the scam troll videos I make on my channel are definitely the most popular and the most high volume videos that I post. So today I wanted to go over the steps that I take to ensure that my account is ready to withhold and uh, capacitate the amount of scammers that I come into contact with. Now I'm showing you guys this today because I want to implore you to go out and troll some scammers yourself because being able to evacuate some of the scummier people from this community not only feels good, but it does good for everyone else as well. And that's why I personally do it myself. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I set up my account as well as some things that you want to take into account while you're doing these videos. As well as that, guys, I wanted to share with you that I am planning on hosting a competition soon to see who can make the best scam troll video. And the person who produces the best content is going to get a shout out on my channel. Your video will get featured and I also will be sending you a really nice knife for you to play with and hold and love and use for the rest of your days in CSGO. So without further ado, guys, let's hop right into this. Now, I don't think it's any surprise to you guys that I can't do this on my main account. I I think I have like 4,000 comments on my main profile and most of them are talking about trolling scammers or my YouTube channel or whatever. So I had to make a second account and if you guys decide to use a Smurf account or a second account or whatever, the first thing you guys are going to want to take into account is that you can't actually load CSGO on a second Steam account unless you have CSGO on that Steam account. There are ways to share games from other Steam accounts onto your PC. I don't know how to do it personally. I think you just click a couple buttons on Steam and verify. Uh, but basically, uh, I, I ended up just buying CSGO on this account as well. And and this is the account that I use to troll scammers. I am going to request, however, that you guys don't try and search for this account. I am going to try and change the URLs and stuff and whatever. But uh, last time I asked you guys to do this, I found that there were a lot of profile comments talking about my videos and people saying that they found it. But uh, if you guys want these scam troll videos to be as frequently as possible, I am going to ask that you leave this account alone just because, it, you know, if I'm not on it 24-7 monitoring the account to make sure that I delete the comments, then uh, chances are a scammer is going to stumble across my profile, see my channel link, or see some something related to trolling scammers and they're just gonna brush right on through my account so if you guys want these videos to come more frequently I'm gonna ask that you please don't search for this account and you please leave it alone I know that some of you guys aren't gonna listen but it, it means a lot to me and it will allow me to produce these videos in a higher frequency and put them out more often so thank you guys for that anyways without any more wasting time we're gonna go right on into this this account is actually set up for another scam troll video um, I am gonna be probably changing it at the end of this video just because you know I I'm sure a lot of you guys are gonna search it and I need to make sure that the people I'm trolling are authentic people. So first things first, guys, what you're going to need to troll some scammers is you're going to need something worth scamming. So I always trade over a couple knives and a nice like rifle skin or something to this account just to kind of entice the scammers. Now, something that you can do with this is you can actually like trade over, you know, a knife or two and some cases and whatever, because as you can see, I only traded these two knives in this rifle and they are the first three in my inventory, which means that they're the most recent items I picked up. If you trade over some cases and some graffitis as well, or just some, some other skin, instead of having the the hot ticket items that people are gonna want to scam from you at the very front of your list they're gonna end up in the middle somewhere and that just makes it look a little more authentic but generally speaking the scammers don't really notice this and they don't really care so I don't usually mess around with it too much but if you're looking for that hundred percent authenticity that's definitely a way to go another thing that's very important um, I know some of you guys that are watching are bigger names in the community something that you guys want to make sure you look out for is make sure your name isn't anything that's associated with a YouTube channel because if they see that in your previous names and they look it up they're gonna want to look up your channel and if you are posting stuff on CSGO scamming or if you just have a big channel they're more likely not to mess with you because they know you have clout and they know that you'll mess up their day from my personal experience I have had a couple people figure out that I am a youtuber and they, they didn't want to mess with me anymore they just block you instantly and then you don't really have a video to make from that it's definitely important to make sure that any ties to your personal channel or anything that you do online is totally separate and that's one of the main reasons that I made the second account in the first place other than the fact that I have so many profile comments on my main account so uh, a good way to get rid of these previous names is just change your name a bunch as you can see when I, my name was snoop doggy dog for the last scam troll video I trade I changed it a bunch to get rid of the word diddle on my previous name list now it's verified and I'm going to you know probably change that up a bunch as well uh, but that is definitely an important step just completely disassociate yourself with any sort of online persona or channel or, or Twitter page or anything like that make sure there's no social media attached uh, and, and it will 
will definitely keep the scammers thinking that they're more on the covert side of things and uh, going incognito and they're a lot more likely to try and scam you then. Another thing that you guys want, you know, if you're going to have $400 knife in your inventory, you definitely want to look like you play the game. Uh, I have 140 hours and that seems pretty low for the amount of skins that I have on this account right now, uh, but I, it's very possible that I win giveaways or whatever and that's why I put in my bio. Uh, I like to play with knives. This is my older brother's account and now to the average person that doesn't really make a lot of sense because there's only 140 hours played. I have like a thousand dollars in knives and rifles right here. Generally speaking, the scammers that you're going to run into are pretty dumb and they barely speak English, so it, it shouldn't be too much of a big deal. A lot of them don't look at the small details, uh, but that's the way that you get scammed yourself. So also guys, if you're going to do this, make sure that you're doing it smart because it, it is very easy to get scammed on here. And if you're not careful, it can happen to you. I know that I, you know, you can try and mess with these scammers and then, or, and then you're going to miss some little detail and it's actually going to get you scammed. So just be careful, you know, use common sense. That's the biggest thing. And a lot of the scammers don't use that. And that, that's a big deal when you're kind of trying to get into the swing of these different kind of trolls. So basically guys, the profile that I have used right now, it says it's verified. It says my name is Steve. I always just set it to a random country, state, and city. And uh, I change my URL every single time as well. Random profile picture that relates to the name I have. This is all common sense stuff. At your bio, I would definitely recommend putting your trade link in your bio just because it, it kind of makes your account look a little more legitimate and it makes it easier for scammers to get your trade link. So that way they can send you a little more covert scams. If you guys are very new to this though, I wouldn't really recommend doing this because there are a lot of fake trade requests and stuff that people will send out and it's very important that you don't fall for these because then you will end up sending your skin to a scammer so you don't want that i pick a random profile background um you know random random badge random group every time uh, and that brings me into the next thing that i want to show you guys and that is your group uh, a lot of these scammers you know occasionally you'll run into one in a csgo game if you're playing with a nice skin they'll add you and try and scam you but for the most part these people that add you out of nowhere they're actually finding you through your steam group so i joined as many trade servers and website steam groups as i could as you can see they have hundreds of thousands of members in most of them and that's really what you want because what these people will do is they will look through the members of the different groups like as you can see you can just click on the members and it's all public they'll click on somebody's account and they'll look in their inventory uh, and a lot of the inventories are private for this reason but if you click on people's inventories enough you can actually see you know if they have skins worth scamming or not like as you can see this kid doesn't have any knives so a, a scammer would just move on you know you click on somebody else's name and they, they go through this until they find somebody that has a knife and uh, what they do with that is they will then add you or send you a message and try and get your skin. Now guys, another thing that people will do when they're in the members of a group is they will hit control F on their keyboard and it'll pull up the search menu. Now from this, you can search anything you want. Like if I search the word lucky here, uh, as you can see, it'll highlight six people that have lucky in their name. And that's a very important factor. So what I would imagine that they do sometimes is they will search the word trading in the in the menu and anyone that has the word trading in their name, they will, you know, actively seek out because they know that they have items that are worth taking. So that's why I always have trading in my name. Uh, another way to pull people in, if you have big skins, like if you're doing this with like a dragon lore or a howl or, you know, something that's a really like high tier, well-known skin, put that in your name. As you guys can see, my previous name, I had it as Snoop Doggy Dog and I was trading a dragon lore and I had like 20 friend requests in a day uh, you know people are a lot more likely to add you if you make it public that you're trying to trade things because then they can hit you with the more covert trade scams and you're a lot more likely to fall for them now, obviously you guys are smart and you're not going to fall for them but it's something you can do to kind of get your name out there a little more and make more people add you trying to scam uh, it is important to find the right scammer when you're doing these types of videos if you just use any old person the chat might not be as entertaining so just a quick recap guys once again um, you want to disassociate your account with any sort of social media you want to make sure you have trading in your name that's what I do at least and you want to join as many steam groups as possible if you do this I promise you you will get a lot of friend requests also guys you want to have hours on CSGO and uh, I would recommend while you're waiting for scammers to just go into like casual or arms race games probably casual because people can spectate and then uh, you know kind of show off your skins there because that'll make a lot more people see them and um, you know occasionally you do run into people who are trying to scam in a game sometimes it's not on the account that you're playing with but they'll switch accounts and add you just because they see that you have a skin worth taking so with that said I hope you guys enjoyed this and like I said stay tuned for that competition I am going to be hosting in the near future um, if you guys want to try this and anytime if you make a scam troll video you want to tag me in it or just link it to me on Twitter or something like that I will happily watch it I absolutely love watching those kinds of videos especially when they're entertaining and I definitely promote you guys making them yourselves but I definitely think they're both a good video to watch and a a good video to produce just in the sense that it you know helps clean up the community a little bit so if you guys are interested in seeing more 
more like this, more of the setups and behind the scenes of the scam troll stuff that I do, make sure to let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Before I said